G'day folks. I'm uh, just parting out this old, uh, well, actually fairly new, Hisense LED television. Uh, I didn't realise it was LED until I got further into it and realised there's a heatsink along the bottom here. And the power supply is not like a normal CCFL one. It looks like it, but it only puts out 170 volts to the, um, the main drivers, which must be under here. I'm guessing 170 volts feeds into a resistor network and it's just resisted off to the uh, LED strips. I'm interested to see if this is a full array or whether it's a um, just a big edge lit. It could be a big edge. If it's a big edge bar, that's kind of handy. It's um, very good. I can pull that apart and keep the uh, edge strip. And I can also use the uh, plastic or acrylic backing in there because it's much thicker and harder than a uh, normal CCFL backlit one, which tends to be fairly soft. It's easy to push on and break. Uh, this set worked fine. It's just the panel was smashed. So I'm uh, butchering it for parts. So I've got perfectly good input board with HDMI, USB, all that stuff, uh, digital TV tuner, and of course a good power supply. Also a good um, connector ribbon. There's top edge boards in there, which I might keep as well. A couple of cute little speakers. They're kind of neat. And yeah. Anyway, I'll start pulling this to bits. At least get the panel out anyway. All right. Well, I've got the glass panel off it. That's pretty much rubbish now. Um, under the usual layers of diffuser plastic, some of which is a bit thicker than normal, there is an edge LED strip along the bottom, by the looks of it. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, that's the bottom. That's the top. So, yeah, bottom edge lit LCD. It's interesting that the wires come in at the top, but they just come straight down the back and down to here at each end. So I'm going to um, look at how to remove it carefully and it'll be a good little strip. Although it seems to run at higher voltages though, it's like 170 volts DC. So I don't know how practical it would be. But it should work quite well. There's a nice sheet of acrylic in here too, like a big computer monitor. It's not like the um, older LCDs which had a very thin sheet behind them. This one's actually got something about a quarter of an inch thick. About six mil thick. Yeah, yeah five mil. Yeah, not bad. Some white plastic behind it. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Okay, so that's the LED strip. Two segments there joined, or well not joined in the middle, they're um, got one connector on each end, so it must obviously be 170 volts in to each individual strip, and yeah, it works. I know someone's going to suggest that I could have used it as a light panel, but to be honest, I've got nowhere to put such a thing, especially so big. So, no, I'll just keep it intact, and Jay can have it because it, technically the boards are his, so. I'll give it all back to him and he can do what he wants with it. It's a pretty cool little strip. The rest of it can just go in the scrap bin. It's of no use. I'll keep the wires though. That should just pull out. Yeah, yeah very good. Anyway, that's a quick little afternoon autopsy. Thanks for watching.